Hello to the Therapist Connect community. Um, I'm Kaz. Hello, and I'm Peter. Um, and we're here to tell you about our live um, birthday celebrations, which are happening in, in January. Um, before we do that, um, I think it's important that we just kind of take a moment to kind of reflect on everything that's happened with the Therapist Connect community over the past, um, well, nearly 12 months now. Um, as most people know, it started out as a, as a tweet that I sent out in January of this year, um, which was just asking therapists really to kind of um, connect with each other, communicate and kind of um, bring us all together a little bit more on, on Twitter. Um, that tweet was so successful. I think now it's been seen by about 120,000 um, people. Um, and it started off um, something which I think um, feels like now that actually that the therapist community really, really wanted, which was to open up those conversations and to connect more with each other. Um, so I think it really inspired something um, in me about um, how we could develop those connections even further. Um, and not long after I'd sent out that tweet, Kaz reached out to me um, with the suggestion of doing a Twitter discussion group for students, um, which we began in April, um, called Trainee Talk, um, which, again, we didn't really know how popular that was going to be and actually ended up being really popular with students. Um, students have kind of engaged with that kind of every week during term time now. Um, and it's been really popular. Um, that then kind of inspired us a little bit more to develop our projects um, and see what other things that we could do around um, connecting therapists to each other. Um, so we've obviously got the, the Therapist Connect podcast, which is about interviewing therapists about their, their work and their life. Um, and I think all of the events that we've, we've done have tried to center around some specific common goals and common aims, particularly around inclusivity for our community. Uh, obviously greater connection and building up respect for each other. Um, but also bringing people together to talk about the issues that really are impacting on our profession. And that really led us to our first kind of live debate that we broadcast on our YouTube channel um, around the Scoped project. And we've obviously had um, another two uh, debates of those um, which, which we've held recently. Um, so that's kind of what we've achieved this year um, and I think it's been amazing as a as a community but I think one of the things we wanted to do is we wanted to try and say thank you actually to everybody who's been involved. Um, Kaz do you want to? Yeah absolutely um, yes it's been such a pleasure being involved with Therapist Connect. Um, I think um, one of the things that's been difficult maybe has been there's been a lot of um, disharmony in our profession um, um, a lot of, you know, maybe not people not feeling very connected. Um, and that's that side of it has felt really, really important. And the um, the main thank you really is to everyone who's part of Therapist Connect. You know, Therapist Connect is not Peter and I. Yes, we are the people who run it. Um, and we have our team of volunteers who do um, a lot, um, you know, in the short space of time that we've had um, them on board but Therapist Connect is the community um, so when we talk about Therapist Connect it's everyone it's everyone who's engaging um, so thank you so much to everybody who does to everybody who puts our hashtag on tags us in things tags us in pictures stuff like that um, you know because the community is what people make it um, and there's some brilliant discussions and obviously we'll be thinking into 2021 about how to um, develop those discussions. Um, I've already had some conversations with people, you know, giving really useful feedback. Um, so yeah, so thank you to everyone. Um, um, the other thing is obviously all the different projects that we've been um, doing this year. So thank you to everyone who's um, been involved with our podcasts. Um, uh, Peter's done a great job as an interviewer um, and we've had some absolutely amazing guests actually. Um, so yeah, so thank you to all those people, you know, they've given their time for free as well. Um, um, and you know, um, um, it's not a small thing actually, um, to turn up, but it's so useful for other therapists to hear those stories about people, um, what it's like being a therapist and some of the things people have done. Um, 
everyone and share some really personal stories as well actually and and really opened up and i think there's been a lot of positive feedback around that particularly from trainee uh, stu uh, students coming through uh, who found them really useful so yeah thank you to everyone who's done that yeah absolutely um so um obviously everyone who's been a panelist on any of our three scope debates um and particularly the students we did a student panel and that was such a big thing for students to to go on and do um but just thank you to everyone who's been involved in any way in those scope debates um the trainee talk attendees i think peter said we've been running since april but i think it's actually since march um so we had a uh, we had a um uh, a good kind of uh, almost couple of term two terms um, last year and um, we've obviously been going this academic year as well so thank you for everyone who turns up and also the Therapist Connect community who always uh, does retweets when we ask for retweets and sends our posters around which uh, we're so very grateful for um, you know um, we're big supporters of um, students having more of a voice in this profession and students having a space um, to be together in places other than just their classrooms so um, yeah so thank you again um, and finally to our volunteers um, I said uh, they haven't been on uh, board that long actually um, but they came on board at a really really busy time just in bang in the middle when we were going to do our third scope debate um, and they have just been brilliant um, it's been really important um, uh, for us to feel uh, you know that, that we've got people on board who who believe in the ethos of Therapist Connect and um, you know and some of those people have been so supportive on so many levels um to peter and i as well um um you know um there are you know this is the year 2020 and um you know i guess therapist connect has been important in that sense as well you know that community um in this in this year which must have brought up so many different things for different people but peter and i are also people and um we also need support um and um in many different ways um um so yeah thank you to our volunteers and um, we're looking forward to our volunteers being involved in our birthday celebrations as well um so i'm going to pass over to peter for that. Um, I also want to thank Peter though before I do um, because Peter has been um, such a good colleague to work with. Um, I think that it's fair to say we work in a very similar way um, and we're really on the same page with things but Peter has also been an amazing friend to me as well um, so thank you Peter. Oh thank you Kaz that's, that's lovely and I want to thank you as well because I think um, this community and this the projects that we've done, I don't think uh, would have been anywhere near as successful, I think, if you hadn't been on board with all of this. And I think, um, yeah, we do work great together as a, as a team. So thank you as well. Um, so I get the opportunity now to kind of talk about the um, exciting bit, which is actually our birthday um, celebrations in January. Um, and what we decided to do was um, we decided to do um, kind of a selection of different events over the course of the week around um, when our birthday is, which is when obviously I first sent out that tweet, which was on the 6th of January this year. Um, so we're going to have a selection of events over five days. And at the moment, we've got kind of a developing programme. So we've got things that are being added and organised um, at this moment in time. But we can tell you about some of the, some of them now. Um, all of our events um, are going to be around the themes of connection, obviously, um, conversation and community between therapists. Um, it's really important, I think, that these are accessible to our community. So it's a virtual event. So, um, we'll be broadcasting the majority of those via our YouTube channel. Um, and those will be free to watch. So anyone will be able to access them either live when they're happening or they'll be able to catch up on our YouTube channel later on. Uh, which is really exciting. Um, we have got um, a selection of paid events, which are in the evening slot, so from 6.30 through to 8.30. So we've got one on each of the evenings um, across the week. Um, and what we'll be doing is, we'll, once we've got those fully confirmed, we'll be announcing those throughout December. So just keep an eye out on our social media or our website for that. Um, 
the other thing that I'm excited about is that we're going to have some networking events over the week. So I think as a community, um, I think we have been networking through our communication on social media. Um, but actually, I think it I think it's possibly long overdue, actually, that we kind of come together as a community um, and actually spend some time together getting to know each other. Um, and we're going to have some events around that um, to, to help us kind of come together at the start of the year and, and, and kind of look forward for 2021. Um, some of the other things that we've got planned is we've got a poetry showcase event, um, which is really exciting, which Kaz um, has been organising, and a poetry workshop. Um, we've also got um, uh, some of our trainee talk uh, students are coming together to have a bit of a panel discussion about their experiences of, of uh, using trainee talk, but also about their experiences of being a student um, within the therapy community. And then we've also got a selection of debates where we're bringing together um, therapists from different backgrounds to talk about specific topics, which focus obviously on our, our different um, themes for the conference uh, and the birthday celebrations. So there is there's a lot in there, Kaz, isn't there? I think there's something. <laughs> I think there's something for everybody in, in that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, we, you know, we're, we're just going to see what happens, basically. We're, we're trying to put a whole load of things together that we hope people will like and we hope people will enjoy. Um, as, a, as Peter says there, um, you know, the majority of, of the programme is a free programme um, throughout the daytime. Um, and um, yeah, we just want people to get involved, to come along, to meet each other. Um, and if we have technical difficulties or whatever, that's what happens. Um, Usually me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll blame Peter if that happens. <laughs> um, he's got he's got computer on his Christmas list. I've got kitchenware. Peter's got computer. <laughs> um, so um, yeah. Um, so basically, if you want to get involved, and you know, you can book you can book things in December, or you can book things right up to the last minute um, um you can just keep updated with our um, program and our events by going to our um, website and going to the celebration page so that is www.therapists-connect.com which is on the screen now slash celebration um so yeah check that out we're also going to have posters coming out which will have all the um, updated information on um, which we'll obviously put on all our social media channels um, so um, yeah we are running the events for free um, um, and, and you know us too with the help of our volunteers um, um, if anyone does wish to donate we have a, a scrolling thing somewhere there as well um, and again there's a place on the website um, we've never asked for don donations before um, because we've just done this for the love of you know what we believe in and um, um, but we have put in um, um, our volunteers do put in a lot of free time um, any donations will go back into Therapist Connect projects. And we also have two designating charities that we want, that we have a percentage that we want to donate to as well. Um, so, um, yeah, to, to stay fully up to date with things general for Therapist Connect, do just sign up um, to our newsletter, which is also on the website. Um, I think that's it. Have I covered everything? I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So thank you very much for taking the time to listen and um, look forward to seeing you. Well, we'll see you in December and everything, but we look forward to seeing you in January um, and all the very best from me. And thanks very much from me. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>